Vasudevaya, Om Namo Vasudevaya. Hare Krishna, dear devotees. So today we are back to chapter 10 of Srimad Bhagavad Gita, the Bhakti Gyani course. So we have the few verses. So we have seen how different rasas uh, exist with the Lord. So Shantaras, Dasyaras, Sakyaras, Vatsalyaras, and Madhuryaras. So we have seen different, so has different type of races with the Lord. So different relationship. Hanumanji is in the Dasyaras, active way, rest, active state. The trees and the fruit like the, the passive state. Then the mother Yashoda as the parental one, the Vatsalya Ras. Arjuna is the friend or the Sakya Ras. And the gopis or the emblem of Madhurya Ras, conjugal Ras. So we have to try to develop this love for God and develop this forgotten relationship with the Lord. So this is this. Uh, this uh, this is you have to engage in devotional service and try to develop love for the Lord. I can start with 70. So we start with text 12. Puja um, Mataji, would you like to read the translation in English? Yes, thank you, Mataji. Okay, sounds good. Arjuna Vacha Param Brahma Param Dhamma Pavitram Paramam Bhavan. Purusham Shashutam Divyam Adi Devam Vajam Dibhum Ahastutvam Rishaya Sarve Deva Shiranara Dastatha Asito Deva Lupyasa Swayam Chaiva Bravishine Arjuna said, You are the Supreme Personality of Godhead, an ultimate abode, the purest, the absolute truth. You are the eternal, transcendental, original person, the unborn, the greatest. All the great sages, such as Narad, Asita, Devala, and Vyas, confirm this truth about you, and now you yourself are declaring it to me. O Krishna, I totally accept as truth all that you have told me. Neither the demigods nor the demons, O oh Lord, can understand your personality. Text 15. Swayam evatmanatmanam yetta tvam purushottama bhuta bhavana bhutesha deva deva jagatpate. Indeed, you alone know yourself by your own internal potency, O oh Supreme Person, origin of all, Lord of all beings, God of gods. Lord of the universe. Existing. Vaktum arhasya shena divya yatma viputaya ya bhirvibhuti bhir lokan imam swam yapya tishthasi. Please tell me in detail of your divine opulences by which you pervade all these worlds. Excellent. Katam vidyam maham yogin swam sada parichintayan keshu keshu cha bhaveshu chintyo si bhagavan maya. O Krishna, O Supreme Mystic, how can I constantly think of you and how shall I know you? In what various forms are you to be remembered, O Supreme Personality of Godhead? Text 18. Vistare natmano yogam vivotim cha janardana bhuya kataya triptirhi shrinvato nashti me mritam. O Janardan, again please describe in detail the mystic power of your opulences. I am never satiated in hearing about you, for the more I hear, the more I want to taste the nectar of your words. Thank you, Mataji. The summary of verses 12 to 18. Arjuna accepts Krishna as the Supreme Lord, and he's stating that all the great sages also accept 
and he wants to know more about the law. So lesson 42. He can also develop a desire to know more about the law, and he will fulfill our desire. Knowing more about his opulence will convince us that he is the original supreme personality of Godhead. But knowing and appreciating his sweet pastimes of exchange with his dear devotees will make us fall in love with him. So again, a very nice connection of the bhajan that we did with us uh, today, with this uh, particular reading today. So yeah, through the through reading, through listening, through chanting, we can uh, develop this love with God and then establish a lost relationship with the Lord. So very nice. Uh, we've gone through this pageant today. And this um, uh, text, I remember asking Guru Maharaj why, what was his what was he reciting in front of the deities? So then he explained all the verses, uh, all the different verses that he would be reciting in front of the deities. And one is Param Brahma Param Bhavan, Pavitram Param Bhavan, Purusham Shashwatam Divyam Adi Deva Majandi. So he was uh, saying that we should be glorifying the Lord when we, uh, uh, when, when we are in front of the deities. So one of the verses that he should recite. Mm. Yes. I remember when um, Guru Maharaj used to have darshan, he always used to have a, a conversation with the Lord. <laughs> oh, yes. And um, it was always fascinating, you know, and he's glorifying the Lord and thanking him and so many amazing things. So this is mm -hmm. what, the, what it means to have a personal relation. You're actually communicating, you're connecting with the Lord. He's not some abstract, you know, formless figure somewhere not reciprocating not contactable but he's very much contactable because he's so close to us although he's far as well um, so yeah this verse is quite interesting because it describes the greatness of the supreme but greatness in itself is not enough to make us fall in love with him yes we can respect him by knowing his greatness but respect is not enough because we want to love him, we want to love God. He loves us, so we want to reciprocate with him as well. We want to, we want to love him. <laughs> and that we can do if we can see his sweetness. And that's what he does show as Krishna, his sweetness. But we're very fortunate, very, very fortunate. Mm -hmm. Nani, anything you'd like to... Yeah. Yes, just something, something that I sort of somebody told us on one of the sessions that apart from primary rasas, there are also about seven, or 12 secondary rasas. Yes. But yes, but that doesn't much come into the into the discussion, secondary rasas, maybe because they're a little bit more on the negative side or something like an anger or so yeah. I thought I would share that, isn't it? Yeah, that's in the nectar of uh, devotion. Bhakti Sindhu. What is it? What's the nectar of devotion? Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu. Rasamrita Rasta. Okay. Sanatan Goswami, in fact, has written that. Uh, and in there, he describes the secondary rasas. But it's the primary rasas which are the ones that really get us going. But the secondary rasas are the more, in, in, sort of more intimate ones which include you know a lot of Radharani's moods um, because she liaises, she relates with the Lord in a much more you know intimate sweeter and perhaps sometimes a little bit um, you know uh, aggressive is not the right word uh, affectionate but in a in a way which pleases the Lord you know, sometimes she gets angry at him. Uh, but actually, that that uh, mood pleases the Lord when it comes from Radharani. So, yeah, you're right. There are many other rasa. I think how many secondary ones are there? There's quite a lot of secondary. Yeah, as you said, maybe twelve. Maybe, maybe twelve. Yeah, maybe more because 
actually the Lord's relationship with the living entity is unlimited. So mm. these are the primary, secondary rasas, but actually the rasas can be unlimited according to the relationship with the living entities. So you can have so many different relationships. So one day we can go through those secondary rasas. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. 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 That would be nice. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Okay, Karuna. So Sharam Prabhu, would you like to do the Sanskrit verses now? Krishna to everyone. Shri Bhagavan Vacha Hantate Kataji Siyami Divyahi Atma Vibhutaya Pradanyanta Guru Sresta Nasti Anto Vistara Sitme. Sunil Prabhu, would you like to read the translation? Okay, I'll read. Okay, Prabhuji. Um, the Sanskrit? The translation, uh, English. The Supreme Personality of God had said, Yes, I will tell you of my splendorous manifestations, but only of those which are prominent. O Arjun, for my opulence is Limitless. Aham Matma Gudakse Sa Sarva Bhuta Saya Stita Aham Adischa Madhyamcha Bhutanam Antaeva Cha. I am the super soul, O Arjun. Seated in the hearts of all living entities. I am the beginning, the middle, and the end of all beings. Text 21. Adhyanam aham vishmu jyotisam ravir amsunam marichir maruta asmi Naksatranam aham sasi. Of the Adityas, Adityas, I am Vishnu. Of lights, I am the, ra the radiant sun. Of the Mars, I am Marichi. And among the stars, I am the moon. Vedaham sama Vedusmi. Jivanam asmi vasavaha Indianam manastasmi bhutanam asmi chetana Of the Vedas, I am the Samaved. Of the demigods, I am Indra, the king of heaven. And of the senses, I am the mind. And, I'm li and in living beings, I am the living force. Consciousness. Text 23. Rudranam Sankar Saschasmi Itesu Yaksharak Samam Vasuham Pakachasmi Meru Sikarinam Aham. Of all Rudras, I am Lord Shiva. Of the Yakshas and Rakshasas, I am the Lord of Wealth, Kuvera. And of, and of the Vasas, I am Fire, Agni. And of mountains, I am Miru. Udadha samcha mukhyamam vidhi partha 
बृहस्पति सेनीन अहम स्कंद सरसम अस्मी सागर ओ अर्जुन नो मी टू बी द चीफ बृहस्पति ऑफ जनरल आई एम कार्तिकेया एंड ऑफ बॉडीज ऑफ वॉटर आई एम द ओशन text 25 maharsinnam ve guru aham geetam asmi ekam aksharam yagnanam japa yajusmi stavaranam himalaya of the great sages i am brigu of vibration i am the transcendental om of sacrifices I am the chanting of the holy names, Japa, and of the immovable things, I am the Himalayas. Asvatha sarva viksanam devar sinam chana radha gandha vanam chitra yara taha sidhanam kapilo muni. Of all the trees, I am the banyan tree, and of the sages among the demigods, I am Narad. Of the Gandharvas, I am Chitra Ratha, and among perfected beings, I am the sage Kapila. Guchahar Srava Sam Asvanam. चर्निंग of lordly elephants i am i ratha and among men i am the monarch ayodhanam aham vajram deminnam asmi kamadukh praja nam asmi kandarpah sarpanam asmi vasuke of weapons i am the thunderbolt among cows i am the surabhi of causes for procreation i am kandarpa the god of love and of serpents i am vasuki anantas chasmi naganam varunaya दासम अहम प्रीतिनम अर्याम चस्मी याम समसामतम अहम ऑफ द मेनी हुडत नागस आई एम अनंता एंड अमंग द एक्वेटिक्स आई एम द डेमीगॉड वरुण ऑफ द पार्ट एंसेस्टर्स आई एम अर Yama, and among the dispensers of law, I am Yama, the Lord of Death. Pradas chasmi de Yama, kala kala ya tam aham, brighanam cha, brighendra aham, vaisna te yascha pakint mam. Among the deity demons, I am the devoted Pralad. Among subdoers, I am time. Among beasts, I am the lion. And among birds, I am Garuda. Pabanaha pabatam asmi, Rama sastra britam aham. 
चश्मी श्रोता सम अस्मि अर्जुन अध्यात्मा विदायम प्रवादानम अहम of all creations i am the beginning and the end and also the middle o arjun of all sciences i am the spiritual science of the self and among logicians i am the conclusive truth akarsanam akarosmi dvandva samasi kasya cha aham e bhagsaya kalo data ham viswattu mukha of letters i am the letter a and among compound words i am the dual compound i am also in in exhaustible time and of creators i am brahma मृत्यु सर्व हरसाहमिष्यतांग among among women i am fame fortune fine speech memory intelligence steadfastness and patience brihat sama tatha samnam gayatri chandas sam aham masana शीर्ष November, December, and of all seasons, I am flavoring bearing spring. Dhyutam chalaya tam asmi te jaste javi nam aham jayusmi vyava sayusmi satvam satya satvava tam aham. i am also the gambling of cheats and of the splendid i am the splendor i am victory i am adventure and i am i am the strength of the strong prisinam vasudeva asmi pandavanam dhanam jaya मुनि दंद दमायतम अस्मीतिरस्मी 
lawlessness, I am punishment. And of those who seek victory, I am morality. Of secret things, I am silence. And of the wise, I am the wisdom. Yakchami Sarvabhutanam Bijam Tad Aham Arjuna Natad Asmi Vina Yatsyan Maya Bhutam Chara Charam. Furthermore, O Arjun, I am the generating seed of all existences. existences. There is no being moving or non moving that can exist without me. Nantastis mama divyanam vibhutinam param tapa asa tu jesa taha prokto vibhutur vistaro maya O mighty conqueror of enemies, there is no end to my divine manifestations. What I have spoken to you is but a mere indication of my infinite opulences. Yad yad viputi madh satpam srimad urjitam eva va tad tad eva vaga cha tvam mamatejo psa sambhavam Know that all opulent, beautiful, and glorious creations spring from but a spark of my splendor. Kathava bahuna itena kim jane tattavarjuna vistabhyaya ham idam krishnam but what need is there, Arjun, for all this detailed knowledge? With a single fragment of myself, I perfect and support this entire universe. End of chapter 10. Uh, should I read furthermore? Uh, no, Karuna, you are muted. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So this is the end of chapter 10. It's entitled Vibhuti Vistar Yoga. The summary of verses 12 to 42. Krishna describes the most prominent among his limitless, all pervading opulence. By doing this, he explains how one can actually think about him, meditate on him, and see him everywhere. It is not that Krishna is physically all the things he mentions, but rather he is the source of all the opulence of these things, their strength, fame, wealth, and so on. After naming 82 occurrences, Krishna concludes by stating that these simply hint at his glory since he pervades and supports the entire universe by a mere fragment of his energy. Lesson 43. Krishna is unlimited. He gives a small hint of his occurrences here. Bomata is very special within him. This is the end of this chapter. So, Lord Krishna is so merciful. He has given us so many ways, so many uh, different things which normally we see around us. So mm. By seeing all these, we can remember and meditate on him. So, the ocean, everything around us. And of course, come back to the Yes. Sabuji, any comment? Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you so much. It's good. Uh, Lord is um, 
giving us good hints as to where he can be found because so many arguments said oh he does not exist because we can't see him well actually he does give us a good clues as to where he can be seen even in this world um, i think this is the most important thing is one of the most important things is gomata because he loves gomata so much and he says oh cows i am the surubi so it's it's very good for us if we are able to remember gomata at least once a day, <laughs> if not more, a lot more, uh, but at least minimum once a day, because Krishna worships Gomata, he can't live without Gomata. But if we can't even think of Gomata even once a day, it's not a good sign. <laughs> okay. Um, Naniven, anything you'd like to? Uh -huh. Yes, I, I understood for the first time today, that after just mentioning his 82 opulences, he concludes by saying that this is a simple hint at his glory, <laughs> since he pervades and supports the entire universe with mm -hmm. a mere fragment of his energy. Mm -hmm. So this is just a spark mm -hmm. in, in, in everything that Krishna has. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a very nice point. Mm. Correct, yes. Because, uh, uh, you know, the in terms of the universe, he says, or oh, Bhama Samhita says, that um, Krishna's incarnation is Balaram, and then from Balaram comes the Kodrupu incarnation, and then Narayan, Kodrupu incarnation. Then we have um, Karanadaksha Vishnu. So Karanadaksha Vishnu is lying on the ocean. When he breathes out, all the universes come out. When he breathes in, they're all finished. So this is the point about with a sim with a little bit of his energy he you know controls the whole universe. So Mahavishnu, who is an incarnation or an incarnation or an incarnation or an incarnation of Krishna, simply breathes out and all the universes come out <laughs> of his world. So just a fragment of his energy is used in how this whole material manifestation comes about. So, yeah, it's very interesting how Krishna, his, his opulences are so great. So great. <laughs> Anybody else? Anything else? Oops. Okay. Karuna, okay. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.